Morning guys. Um, today I want to show you a quick review on a couple tools I've got. Uh, these are both 12 volt cordless impact wrenches, not screwdrivers. You used to use a square 3 8 shank. Um, basically a mechanics kind of tool, not a woodworking tool. You can drive a lot of different things with it. But I want to make a quick review on these guys. Um, I managed to have them both land here at the same time. And uh, I'm going to show you a few things I like about both of them and some things I don't like about both of them. Uh, we have a Milwaukee 2451-20 and a DeWalt DCF813. So I run these head to head. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short so you don't need to see all the science behind this. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'll give you the rundown on these guys. These items, as to my, in my opinion, are direct competitors to each other. Um, they're both a yeah, similar price, they're similar size, they're the same voltage. Um, they're both running a lithium ion battery. Apples to oranges, right? Red, yellow. Um, I have had this DeWalt for quite a few years used it hard at work. I mean, I run it all the time. It's really handy. Um, but okay, I wanted one for home. So I, I purchased the, the Milwaukee, kind of mostly just to try it out and see what I thought. And I ran them both at work side by side, deciding what to, uh, which one I like better. And I really wanted to like the Milwaukee better, um, but the, the DeWalt, um, it's got a, a different shape to the battery pack. It balances really nice. Um, it's got a little bit less overall length. Um, I found it to be very durable. That doesn't mean I can't break it. You'll notice this one's awfully shiny. It doesn't look like it's been used much at all. That's because it just came back from getting rebuilt, which I honestly believe means replaced. Um, we have a policy at work. You wear it out at work, they fix it. Well, I turned it in for repair and it came back like this. I fully believe it's brand new. Um, it's clean, it's not stinged up, it's every piece of it, as far as I can tell, they just replaced it rather than repair it. Um, so I use this guy at home. So couple things the like I said the balance I like the balance and the size of this guy it's the one that got used at work all the time so I took this one home I use it here and I like it the anvil is a little different um, dimensionally on these guys it's it's kind of long and what I found was that depending on what socket I was putting on there this friction ring, the snap ring on the end, would go too deep in the socket and get hung up on it, really making it very hard to remove. Um, I had a fix for that. I took a, a small stainless steel washer and I filed it to a, a square hole so it was tight fit and I pretty much pressed it down over the anvil to shorten it up to a more standard length. And then it's been fine ever since. Um, the washer stays on there. It looks like it belongs there. I don't know why these are dimensionally different, but they are. Um, now, I run a, a Milwaukee 3.8 cordless ratchet at work a lot. And I really like it. Maybe we'll do a review on that. It uses the same batteries. Now, that was part of the, the reason for going this. And I would have just one kind of batteries to worry about. So, in using that tool, I found a couple things. The rubber coating on the, on the ratchet. Now, this one hasn't seen a lot of hard use at work, um, but the ratchet did. And it's very similar, um, but obviously it's a ratchet, not an impact. The rubber is affected by oil a whole bunch. And at this point, all of the rubber has fallen off of my ratchet. The batteries, these batteries don't like to get dropped, and I drop them a lot. So I've had a couple, um, they'll break here where the, the housing is put together, 
or this cap that uh, has the latches for locking it into the tool. Um, I just had one the other day where it came off and I've managed to try and repair them, um, glue them back together with mixed results. The battery itself, I haven't been able to, uh, they, they just keep going. It's, it's, the battery itself is high quality. The housing takes a little bit of abuse. They're not very expensive. Um, I want to say you get two of these for $69. In the real world, batteries cost more than the tools sometimes. So I, I bought some extra batteries. I keep using the, uh, the damaged ones. Uh, I've got a few other tools that use the battery, um, including a little uh, Bluetooth speaker. So it just sits on my toolbox, and it doesn't matter if the battery's kind of jacked up. But the batteries continue to work, even though the housings have gotten kind of beat. So then, on the DeWalt, um, very heavy use. The, I never had a problem with the rubber grips. The battery housings um, have held up. The batteries themselves have served me well. As, also, I haven't had to replace any batteries because you know, they quit charging or whatnot. Um, both of them have a, a light, which is actually really handy. Um, the, I think the DeWalt maybe has a little better light. A eh, little bit better on the DeWalt. Um, I haven't had a problem with the friction ring on the, on the Milwaukee. Uh, the DeWalt's, I constantly was wearing out the friction rings and they're kind of specific. They are not the same as a normal, say a, a 3 8 air powered pneumatic impact. So it's always been a little bit of a battle trying to get the, the correct snap rings and get them serviced and whatnot. I get them serviced off of the tool truck. So, and eh, some tool guys work differently than others. That said, I really like the DeWalt. Um, every bit of it is, is just a really handy tool. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, another thing, like I said, I've, I've worn out, this is the third unit. I, I wore it out once, got a new one back, or at least appeared to be new. Um, I wore it out again, and I got this one back. I can't really complain, considering how much I used them. We're talking, I, I work as a mechanic. This was pretty much the first tool out of the toolbox every day. Um, fasteners uh, up to, say, 3 8 um, and uh, up to you know, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts on our stuff to 10 millimeter bolts, it won't take them out. The eights, it does good on. Um, it'll, break a, it'll break a quarter 20. So it, they do have some power. I did a, a kind of a test a little bit ago. I got a junk engine over here and uh, I threaded a, a three eighths bolt, three eighths, 16. It's about a three quarter inch bolt, three quarter inch long. And uh, threaded it into a hole and hammered it down with each of these and checked the, the torque output. I don't know what they're rated at, um, but both of them had fresh batteries and I used the same bolt and the same hole and the same socket on each of them. The DeWalt made 27 foot pounds uh, on, on that 3 8 bolt. The Milwaukee went 34. So in the, in the power standpoint, I'm going to say the Milwaukee wins, uh, and you can actually feel it hammering harder when, you, when, you, when you're doing it. You get a, if you run these things all the time, you, you, you know when it sounds right. And I, the, the Milwaukee's hammering it a little harder. Um, the Milwaukee does have a, a battery indicator on the side. Um, that's kind of nice. Nothing on the DeWalt. There's nothing on here to tell me when my battery's going dead except when it quits working. I would say if I had to pick one up again, if I had to buy one, I don't know. I would, I would probably buy whichever one was less money, and I don't remember how much these cost. Um, they're pretty darn close. Um, the Milwaukee has more power. But uh, like I said, the, the rubber grips, if you're getting oil on it, it's going to fall off. The batteries um, don't take the abuse as well as the, the, 
the DeWalt's, even though the, the, the battery itself, like I said, as far as charging and doing this battery thing, um, they're both fine. The housings, I haven't broken a housing on the DeWalt battery, but the Milwaukee battery seem to be a little fragile. Um, once again, the anvil needs a little, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. It's different length than every other 3 8 anvil I've got. So take that for what it's worth. And uh, I hope this was uh, useful to you. Thank you very much.